Hi, David Deck here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with a long overdue video update. Uh, three things I want to share with you quickly. Uh, one, we're, we are winding down the, you know, the budget season here in Fauquier County. There's only a few things remaining on the budget calendar. Um, one is uh, Monday, March 28th, there's a meeting with the school board, a school board meeting, and part of that meeting will include a discussion of um, budget and specifically those that revisiting that, that list of things we provided to the school board that could be cut or frozen in order to meet our compensation goals. Um, the, the county's um, calendar looks like this. They, they'll have a work session on the 29th. They'll have a markup and markdown session on the 31st, and then they'll have April, uh, April 4th will be their budget adoption. So uh, we, we, we aren't, we're not clear yet exactly what um, the county's contribution will be regarding um, additional revenues, but uh, it, it's um, still up in the air a bit. Um, although I, it's certainly not gonna be the $7.4 million that we requested, but the conversations between board members and my conversations with Paul McCullough, the county administrator have been, have been positive and we've tried to work together and I think we have and um, but I can tell you, our board is committed to these teacher pay increases, uh, as, as specifically and especially. Now, after talking to one of our local reporters, I, I realized that there's still some confusion out there about what it is we're trying to do with compensation and why. So let's start with teachers. The teacher 13% average pay increase is a five, it includes a 5% base salary increase and then an average 8% uh, uh, market adjustment to, in order to deal with compression and become more competitive within our market. So the average is 13% for teachers. And uh, again, we are, we are committed to doing that and we, are, we, we must do that. We have a, a significant teacher shortage issue. I was feeling badly. We have 47 teacher vacancies in our county. And I read this morning that Montgomery County is looking to fill over a thousand so this is a problem that's not going to go away. It's a national problem. It's getting worse. Um, and there are fewer and fewer people going into teaching as a profession. And that's really the, the crux of the problem. So uh, anyway, all that to say, that's, that's um, where the lion's share of the additional uh, revenues will be going towards. Then there's, there's a second part of this. Then there's a 5% raise for all staff. Um, so take the teacher, you got the teacher 13% average, then there was a 5% raise for all other staff. And then there's the second round of market adjustments that the school board started about three years ago. They divided uh, all of our categories of employees in half, and they did a market adjustment for that group, group A. They hit, they hit those groups, did a, a significant market adjustments for those people to get them closer to market, 100% market. And then there was group B. Well, they never got to group B because, you know, COVID hit, uh, we were flat funded for a couple of years and it just didn't happen. So the board is revisiting that. So there will be an, there'll be additional market adjustments for the groups of staff who are in that second group. So all that to say, um, we're committed to this. We're going to keep working and, um, uh, stay tuned. We'll, we're, we're hoping that on the heels of the mark of the BOS approval of their budget on April 4th, that we get contracts out as soon as possible, uh, perhaps even as, as, as soon as the following week. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for that. Um, also wanted to mention just two other things that are actually very brief. The Fauquier County Arts Festival is this actually this evening and then tomorrow morning, Saturday, uh, the 26th, starting at 10 at Liberty High School, and it's just an outstanding event. And I love that event, and they, we've not had it for the last couple of years, but um, it's such a positive, uplifting experience and really highlights the um, talent of our students and our teachers. And it's just a, it's a marvelous event. I hope you can attend. Um, and last but not least, uh, TEDx is coming to Warrington, TEDx Warrington. Um, now, this is not affiliated with the school division, uh, however, two of our staff members are the ones who have started, uh, who ba basically started uh, the TEDx Warrington program, and very cool. 
Um, September 24th will be the first TEDx Warrington experience. It'll be at the Gloria Faye Dingus Center for the Arts on Main Street in Warrington. And if you're interested in speaking or attending the event on September 24th, uh, just go to www.tedxwarrington.com and you can get tickets. You can sign up to speak if you want to be a TEDx speaker. Uh, and very excited about this. And again, not this is not affiliated with the school system, but I suspect uh, we'll have some folks from the school system who will speak. Uh, and um, it's been organized by uh, by Lewis McDonald and Tara Halkowski. Um, so it's really excited about this opportunity, uh, not just for the school system, but for Fauquier County in general. So that's it. Uh, those are my updates. If you have questions about specifically about budget related stuff, uh, feel free to give me a call or send me an email and I'll be happy to respond. Thanks. Have a great weekend.